Look what came in the mail. You say, what is a sound shark? A sound shark is a parabolic disc and it's used for audio. As it says, a zoom lens for audio. And there is the sound shark. And now that we have it out of the box, let me show you what it is. It came with this nice fuzzy cover for wind protection. And I believe that is an option, but not included in the base price of the unit. I would check their website. And this is the sound shark right here. What it is, is it's a little tiny lavalier microphone. You can buy it with or without a microphone. And uh, it just plugs in to the camera with the cord. On the back of the box, they have instructions on how to install your microphone into the sound shark so you can use it with your camera. Now let's do some tests. I am using a sound shark. And the sound shark is a big parabolic disc on top of my camera with a microphone in it. Sort of like they have at sports games and things of that nature and that sort of thing. But I wanted to test this to see what this sounded like just by putting it on top of the camera. Even as a juvenile, if you're above a point at 08, you still get treated like an adult. You get the DUI, you get everything. So we're, we're hoping to, to bring that message home, to personalize it a little bit, um, give them a, a sense of a scenario if they were, were to lose a friend or a loved one, what that might be like. Also, your wallet, your keys, your phone. Okay. All everything. everything. Yep, everything. Basically, the hardest part, I think, is getting all the students to give up their phones for 24 hours and uh, do all their permission slips and such. I'm now using the sound shark and I'm going to pan away. See how directional it is? Listen to how directional the sound shark is. I'm about four feet It'll be interesting to see what that sounds like, that clock of ours. Anyways, I'm a, I was saying we're about four feet away from my camera right now. On top of the camera, I have a sound shark. I also have plugged into my Tascam DR70, a Rode VideoMic Pro, and a Sony short shotgun. And I am testing the three of these to see what they sound like. I'm going to move back to probably about six feet. Now I'm talking from about six feet from the camera. And you can now see what it sounds like when I talk at six feet from the camera. And I'm going to move back even farther, probably to about, my guesstimate is about 10 feet from the camera. And right now I am talking at about 10 feet from the camera using the Sony the Rode and the Soundshark microphones. Now I'm going to do some rejection tests. The refrigerator is operating right now in my kitchen next, not far from the microphones, but it's off to the side. I don't know if you can hear the refrigerator, but it is there. I can certainly hear it. And now what I'm going to do is walk around. I'm going to walk over here outside of the camera's range and still talk to the microphones. I'm going to walk to the other side and do the same thing. Now I'm going to go behind the camera. I'm going to go behind the camera 
and see how the rejection is on these microphones as I go around the camera. And now I'm going to go on to the other side where the Sony mic is. I'm going to go back around over to the Rode microphone. Now I'm on the side of the Rode microphone. And now I will be back in the frame talking to you on camera. As you can see from those tests, the Sound Shark sounds pretty good. It seems to have clearer sound at a distance. And because of that, I would definitely recommend it. It is a clever device and works well. Always turn to Frugal Filmmakers for more information, news, and reviews about these exciting products.